How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Brian and today's video we're going to be looking at the King Slayer Trios game mode that has just been released in this morning's update. But before we get into the deep dive and all the information you need to know about it, please drop the channel a sub. Anyone who drops a sub on today's video will be getting a Warzone win this week, I promise you that. So with this morning's update, this will be in preparation for the live event happening tomorrow. Here are the times where it's going to be around the world. And we're going to be doing a live stream over on Twitch. So if you guys want to come along and get involved with me, please check the description down below. There'll be links over there to my Twitch channel. We'll be doing a lot of fun and a lot of live events, playing with some friends and that. So come along, get involved. It should be a lot of fun. Now for the reason why you're all here, which is the information on the Kingslayer Trios. Now, this is going to be sort of a replacement to Mini Royale, where it is a warm-up before you actually start playing Warzone properly, and you can have a lot of fun with some friends, just trying out new guns and things like that, because it's not going to affect your KD, it's not going to affect your wins, it's just a good way to practice the game before you start playing Warzone properly. Now, some things you need to know about this game mode. The map moves. So, we started at Stadium, we're moving along to Port, and you can see as the video goes on later on that you start moving into different locations. That means every time you spawn, on, you will be moving so it's not just camper central you're literally encouraged to run out and go and get a lot of kills also a lot of things drop out of chess you end up getting a lot more kill streak drop rates like your precision strikes your cluster strikes uavs and you also get advanced uavs out of chess now so with having a higher drop rate of kill streaks, it makes the game a lot easier to play and a lot better place for you to practice new guns and things like that so you can get better at the game and try them out in different environments so how does this game mode work well, just like in Plunder, you're better off having your preset loadouts done in the menu. This way, when you want to switch during the game, it's not that much of a hassle. Also, I recommend that you have different loadouts already preset because different areas of the map will require different weapons when you play. Another point to note is there's no contracts in this game mode because the game is moving. But, just like picking up a most wanted contract in Warzone, you do get a most wanted on top of your head if you are in first place. This way, when you die, or if you kill the person who's in first place, you get 5 extra kills towards your tally. This makes a huge difference for teams that are lower and trying to push up to first place that they are targeting the team that's in first. So if you do get into first place, make sure you squad up with your team because it makes a huge difference that you actually work together in this game mode because separation, you start to get picked off. It's not the best tactic, although with the amount of respawns you get to have done, it makes things a bit more difficult to try and stay together. But if you do manage to get that entire team squad up together, it's going to be a huge benefit to trying to win this game. A unique feature about this game though is that your equipment respawns just as if you were playing a multiplayer. So you can see here that I have a trophy system, I get stop and power, I've tried munitions boxes and all that. And as the game goes on, once I've used it, it will respawn for use again, making it a lot easier to get the kills, stay up to date with ammo and you don't have to go searching for things. So good tip there for using later on in the game, it might make things easier for you to get them wins. Lastly, there are drops in this game, so make sure you squad up when you're going for them because everyone attacks them at the same time and it gives you a better chance of winning the game, which is why we're all here anyway, to get better and to start winning. Now remember, if you do like this video, please drop a like down below and please subscribe. Anyone who does subscribe is going to get that Warzone win, as I promised. I'm sending all my good vibes out to you guys and I will see you tomorrow for the live event. Bye-bye.